this is Chidanam from Crux Info Tech NJ. Welcome you to this short tutorial on Jenkins Sonar Cube integration. For those of you who have gone through my previous uh, videos, as a part of the DevOps delivery cycle or uh, DevOps delivery pipeline, what many people are trying to do is automate your complete delivery processes such that each and every step that otherwise would be performed manually is all done in an automated way. In this scenario, one of the important steps of um, checking the quality or doing a quality control of your particular code is doing a code static code analysis of your code using any of these available tools. And Sonar Cube is one of the most popular uh, tools that is available in the market, and it's also open source and kind of free to use. There's other tools called Fortify, Coverity, and there are a bunch of tools out there. But what I want to demonstrate in this tutorial is how exactly to build a very very simple um, java or a maven a maven java based application in jenkins and then push it to a sonar cube server which is parallelly running it's running as a separate server which is different from jenkins but i'll just let you know how quick and how easy is it for you to integrate your um, jenkins job with a sonar cube server and this is exactly what I plan to do. I have a Jenkins server that is running and uh, the Jenkins version that I'm running is 2.204.1, a little older version. Uh, and the Sonar Cube server that I'm running is version 7.2. There's been a lot of changes in the way these two uh, kind of talk to each other in the last uh, few years. And then it's pretty, um, it was a little complicated some time ago, but right now it's been made super simple. And that's what I intend to do in this tutorial. All right, and as usual, what would Jenkins need in order to talk to anyone for that matter? It would need the appropriate kind of plugins. And uh, also, it would need an URL of um, whatever server that it needs to talk to. And if there's some credentials, it would need the uh, user ID and uh, password or any credentials, SSH keys of the other server. In this setup, I have set up um, Sonar Cube without any credentials and all it needs is an URL to push the job that is built using uh, Jenkins to the Sonar Cube for doing a complete quality analysis and then giving you some very nice and beautiful reports. The tool for quality control that we're going to demo today is called Sonar Cube. It's an open source, freely available um, platform that has been there for quite some time and um, it does give you some beautiful reports of your application and uh, the most important thing is it supports over 20 plus programming languages java c sharp c javascript cobol i mean anyone in any tool that can support cobol must be around for quite some time so trust me this tool has been there for quite some time now very very popular tool and it's evolved a lot so this one needs a uh, compatible java to run so let me i have i have um, i have the sonar cube sonar cube download all right so i have 7.2 version of um, the sonar cube server that is downloaded already and uh, it gives you i mean i have a community edition which is pretty pretty good enough for, for our demo so I have a Sonar Cube 7.6 that I've already downloaded. I'm running on a Windows box. And uh, if I go to the bin directory, there are uh, the same set of uh, jar, I mean, start files are there for all these platforms. I am on this platform. So let me open up a command prompt. Start sonar.bat. Now this batch file, as long as the Java home and um, JDK is properly set. This will bring up my Sonar Cube. So it'll take a while for it to bring up my Sonar Cube. Till then, let me go go ahead and um, bring up my log into my Jenkins and uh, put up a job. All right. So this is my Jenkins server. Um, my credentials. All right. So this is my Jenkins server. I am running Jenkins version two dot two zero four dot one. So what I want to do first is I would go ahead and install a plugin. So I would go to manage Jenkins and uh, manage plugins. And in the available section, there is something called as uh, Sonar. 
let me search for sonar. All right, so you would find a sonar cube scanner. All right, so if you want any information about this particular tool, you can right click on that and open that in a new tab. So this tool has been there. If you see it, there's a lot of good number of downloads that has been happened on this tool. So it looks like a pretty good tool to kind of use. So let me go ahead and click on this and say install without restart. So the way for Jenkins and Sonar has been evolving. There was a time when you had to download some agents or runners and stuff like that because Jenkins doesn't understand how exactly Sonar would need the projects to be um, set out so that it can do an analysis of that. It needed some parameters and stuff like that which had to be passed and based upon the type of project, if it's a Java project, if it's a Maven project, if it's a Microsoft build, MS build kind of a project, there were a bunch of uh, metadata that had to be passed around. So all that things has kind of evolved and um, it's become less and less complicated as of now. So I went ahead and installed my Sonar Cube plugin. In the meanwhile, let me just check if my Sonar Cube is up, it's up and running. It took some time and it runs on localhost um, 9000. That is the standard port on which Sonar Cube runs. All right, now this is where um, you'll have to go ahead and set some sort of, uh, you know, quality gates if at all you need, credentials and stuff. So I don't want to get into all that part. For me, I just needed a Sonar Cube and I've set it up without any credentials. So anybody can push jobs to it without really needing any credentials. So my Sonar Cube is running on, my Sonar Cube server is running on the port uh, 9000 of my local host. Now let me go ahead and configure a few things in my Jenkins instance so that it knows about my Sonar Cube server. First and foremost, let me go to manage Jenkins and um, let me go to configure system. I need to point out where exactly is my Sonar Cube server that is present. So I need to uh, set some particular URLs and if there's any authentication, for now I do not have any authentication, but if there's any authentication, I need to uh, configure Jenkins accordingly. Somewhere down here, you will find this Sonar Cube servers. All right, I already have that. Let me just delete this and uh, add a new Sonar Cube server. Okay, now I would need the name of my Sonar Cube server. Any server, any Sonar Cube server is good enough. So I'll just say Sonar. The version of Sonar was 7.2, was it? Yeah. Let me just verify that. Econon Sonar, where was my Sonar? Sonar 7.6, that was my version. I would just give an appropriate name here. What is the server URL? Right now, this is my server URL without this about. All right, there's no authentication required, but in case you have to set some authentication token or username and credentials, you can always click on this. Oops. Okay, click on that and then specify that. Okay, for now, since I do not have any authentication, I do not want to specify that and enable injection of Sonar Cube server configuration as build uh, environment variables. So this is something pretty new that has been there for quite some time now. So otherwise you will have to specify all these environment variables about the particular build or rather you will have to specify the configuration parameters for the build that has been pushed by Jenkins to Sonar Cube for analysis. Now if you inject or if you say click on this, whatever those configuration variables would all be injected as environment variables and go along with the build. So now that's pretty good for me. I would say save. And then I would also want something called a sonar um, scan scanners. So these would be a small agent kind of a thing which is required to be installed on my Jenkins instance. So let me go to global, where is that global tool configuration? Hopefully I should find it here. And uh, somewhere below, yes, you'll find a sonar scanner. Okay, now sonar cube scanners are different for different kinds of projects. So if you have a Microsoft build, you would probably want to install this, but I, ha I do not have a Microsoft uh, build. I have a Maven based Java application. So this is pretty good for me. Sonar 4 and 4.4 is what I would want. And then, okay, hang on, let me just delete that. This has been there for the, from the, older build that I mean older setting that I had so let me 
let me kind of identify which Connor Scripts channel I would want to install and this automatically gets installed from the Maven Central so I don't want to really if I want I can always download something on my own and then kind of link it here but the best uh, approach is choose whatever latest one hopefully that you want and give a name for this is nothing but a small scanner kind of a thing sonar scanner 4.4 and click this you know so that it gets installed automatically and where from maven central all right let's go now scanner 4.4 i mean it's just a name all right and just say apply now these two are the only things that has to be done from a jenkins perspective now my jenkins is all set with the sonar um, specific configurations now before i do anything on sonar let me just pull out a github uh, repository where i have some maven application so mvn demo mvn demo all right so this is a maven based java application a simple one but i've put in some dirty code here so that uh, when we analyze this particular code if something is really bad it kind of sticks out so let me put up a very very simple maven job so that it can pull this repository and kind of build that and later push it to my sonar cube for analysis so let me copy the https url of this repository let me put up a new job i would say youtube sonar some some name that i want for my job demo i will call it a freestyle project that's good for me and then specify the git repository url right here and my git repository doesn't need any credentials so that that's that's um, you know i don't need to specify any credentials because it is a public repository master branch uh, sounds good uh, that's all that i have and then again based upon the maven sonar plugin and the kind of project that you're trying to build sometimes you may have to check this out where you would want to prepare the sonar cube scanner but for the kind of project that i'm building and the version of um, sonar cube scanner that i have and um, this is not required as a part of the build step all they would want to do is configure or rather invoke top level maven targets and um, the target that i want to invoke would have some sonar specific things in it so the goals would be let's say clean clean uh, verify sonar colon sonar now if you looked at i mean if you look at any of the tools um, most of the tools let's say uh, pmd is one other tool which does your um, uh, quality check as well so pmd has got um, an option of pmd colon pmd that would be the goal for the maven target so similarly any tool would have some goal that is specific to kicking off uh, or triggering the tool specific tasks as a part of the maven goal so for sonar it is sonar colon sonar all right so clean verify sonar colon sonar that's all that is you're supposed to invoke as a part of the maven target all right let me just uh, check if this works i would save and uh, let me try to build this all right so what typically it happens is it pulls the source code repository tries to compile it verify it and looks if everything is good and then since i've specified some sonar um, uh, targets as in sonar colon sonar it would go ahead and then run some checks for sonar and then also it will push the repository the, the source code to sonar cube so that all the uh, beautiful dashboard or the ui specific to the analysis that just happened is also visible right here so if i open this in a new tab all right there you go so this is exactly what was the analysis of my particular source code that i pushed in it picked up most of the parameter in terms of the name and all that from my maven um, um, a pom.xml file that i've specified in my in my maven uh, repository so there are some four code smells there is uh, three unit tests and if i look at some of these code smells it very very clearly tells me that you know um, 
I've written some really bad code, so it says remove this unused import java.util.scanner. If you look at the source code, this is what uh, you know is all bad things that is here, and you can um, the spells are all marked as per you know the uh, impact of it being minor or major and stuff like that. So there is some major thing here talks about using a logger instead of using system dot error and stuff like that. In short, this is a beautiful report that I could create from my Jenkins jobs and uh, this report is available as a, I mean, and whatever quality gate that I set up on my sonar cube is all available for me to visualize here. Hence, this report is very, very extensive. The whole UI and the, you know, um, the report is all available on your sonar cube server. Integrating sonar cube with Jenkins or Jenkins with sonar cube is as simple as that. And uh, I hope you found this tutorial informative. As usual, if you have any questions, something that didn't work for you, leave a comment and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, you guys have a great time.